Okay, so hello guys, uh, it's Marshalls today with you and uh, today I would like to take a quick look on Reaper, uh, why is he good hero or maybe why is he bad hero and what he can do uh, alone uh, or in a team. So let's quickly take a look what he has and my hero has uh, 4 out of 8 uh, bulwark, 7 out of 10 skill, skill his second evolution. Uh, he's level 177, he has uh, 55,000 HP, 5,500 attack, his crest level is 95, and he has additional war god suits. So when he's proccing, he's proccing uh, pretty strong, and on top he has artifact Axe of Strife, which gives him, gives him additional percentage of uh, damage. So maybe let's uh, quickly take a look what he can do in dungeon, uh, and... Um, uh, in a way, uh, judge him. So let's attack uh, our beloved dungeon and let's him put here. So uh, his proc, when he's proccing, he's dealing kind of uh, relatively big, big damage, but he first of all aims to hit uh, troops, which is bad. Uh, okay, so at the moment he's doing pretty well. But the main issue here might be the towers and uh, his not ability to, to, to go uh, against them. Because now he doesn't have any kind of life drain or something on him. Uh, so heroes and towers might be a big uh, issue for, uh, for this time. And I think he wouldn't be able to do it. But for example, in the next attempt, I will try to put a life drain crest on him, and I guess he will be able to to kind of solo this dungeon. Um, yeah, at the moment, I don't think he will be strong enough to make it. Yeah, he won't be. There are too many arrow towers, so I think I won't even try to finish it. But maybe I should. Okay, so there are three arrow towers, magic towers are dealing zero damage, so it's not a big deal for me, and uh, yeah, he will die. So let's finish it, and let's try with a little life drain uh, on him, and see what, how is it goes. Uh, okay, uh, life drain... I think this guy has it okay so remove all and let's try to put it on my reaper okay life drain life drain life drain life drain uh, okay and let's try to solo this now I guess now it won't be uh, any problems the biggest problem might be with time, but even the time might be not so big deal. Uh, because this hero is one of the fastest attacking heroes in the game. Uh, and kind of also he will get rid of the troops, which is also very like time consuming. Uh, so I think uh, he should be able to finish it on time. So as you can see, now he is all the time full health, more or less. Uh, and he should be able to, to finish it on time. So let's take a look how he goes against all those heroes and uh, troops and towers. Uh, but in general, well, I like this hero because he has kind of strong proc when he has additional buffs from Cupid and, and uh, Druid and maybe some magic and... Uh, uh, he goes together with uh, the Warlock, he kind of can solo the bases, I mean with the real players. And uh, this is really awesome and uh, it really saves some time to clear out the middle of the base. Uh, so as you can see already, Reaper was able to finish it and uh, yeah, now he's just clearing out the corners of the base. But it took for him around, it will take for him around one minute or something close to this. Uh, and he is done. As you can see, he is with full health and uh, there was no problem with that uh, dungeon. 
Yes. Uh, where else can we use Reaper? Maybe in Herby Monsters. Uh, because he attacks five heroes and uh, he attacks kind of strong. He also heals himself, so you will hardly lose a hero in there. Uh, and I don't know, like Arena, it's fine, but it's not too good. Uh, here be Demon, no, no, because there's only one Demon, so it's not worth it. Uh, in um, Hero Expeditions, for sure. Uh, here, uh, also for sure, he's like really strong uh, over here. And uh, yeah, guys, so thanks for watching uh, and see you next time. Bye.